Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss multiple choice questions in abdominal anatomy from question number 1 to 10, the answers of these multiple choice questions and the reference book links will be in the description of my video. So if you have any chance, please look at those. Let us solve the multiple choice questions. Question number one, a 54 year old woman was, is admitted to hospital with severe abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting and dehydration. An urgent CT scan revealed a small pancreatic tumor over the superior mesenteric artery obstructing the duodenum. Which of the following part of the duodenum is crossed by the superior mesenteric artery? Duodenum cap, descending part of the duodenum, or second part of the duodenum, horizontal part of the duodenum, or third part of the duodenum, ascending or fourth part of the duodenum. Which part is crossed by the supremacenteric artery? Answer should be horizontal part of the duodenum. C. A 59 year old woman is diagnosed with an aortic aneurysm above the bifurcation of the abdominal aorta extending up to the origin of the renal arteries. What is the vertebral level of bifurcation of the abdominal aorta T8, T10, T12, L2, L4? What is the answer? Answer should be lower border of the lumbar vertebra 4 anteriorly a bit laterally towards the left. There is the lower border of the lumbar vertebra 4. A 56 year old man with enlarged prostate had developed urinary incontinence with dribbling of urine his urologist is suspecting malfunction of the external urethral sphincter. What is the nerve supply of the external urethral sphincter? Vagus nerve, lumbar splanchnic nerve, pelvic splanchnic nerve, udendal nerve. So, this is controlled voluntarily and we have voluntary muscle there. So, it is innervated by the perineal branch of the pudendal nerve. External urethral sphincter is nervated. It is getting nerve supply from the perineal branch of the pudendal nerve. D is the answer. This is the answer. A 62 year old male is admitted to the emergency department with groin pain. Examination revealed that the patient has a direct inguinal hernia. That inguinal hernia passes through the inguinal triangle, which of the following structure forms the lateral boundary of the inguinal triangle? Inguinal ligament, lateral border of the rectus abdominis muscle, inferior pigastic artery, swas major muscle, pyramidalis muscle. What structure forms the lateral boundary of the inguinal triangle? Answer should be inferior epigastric artery. C is the answer. C. A 64 year old woman had a selected pelvic surgery and the gynecologist was well informed of a possible iatrogenic injury to the ureter and its related structure. In the pelvis, the ureter is crossed by what structure? Round ligament of the uterus, uterine artery, ovarian artery, vaginal artery. Answer should be B, uterine artery. Okay, so gynecologist are always alert about that. This art artery is related to the ureter. A 78-year-old man has many years of history of hemorrhoid. 
Hemorrhoid is also called bites. He complains passing of fresh blood mixed with stool in each defecation, along with pain in the anal region, specifically when the person has some constipation, then it will be more aggravated. The hemorrhoids are linked with rectal veins. The superior rectal vein is a tributary of which of the following vein? Okay, so superior rectal vein is a tributary of what vein? Okay, it is a tributary of the what is the vein? The external iliac vein internal iliac vein, inferior vena cava, inferior mesenteric vein, superior mesenteric vein. Okay, so it is a tributary of the inferior mesenteric vein. That is the correct answer. The inferior mesenteric vein. Okay, that is the superior rectal vein. A medical student drew and labeled the celiac trunk on the whiteboard and superbly demonstrated the blood supply of the four gut derivatives. All of the following are branches of the celiac trunk except one and the exception is the what? We have three branches of the celiac trunk, lab gastric artery, splenic artery, common hepatic artery. So, Supremesenteric artery is not a branch of celiac trunk. So, supremesenteric artery is the artery for the midgut. Celiac trunk is the artery for the foregut. Okay, so answer should be D. This is an exception. All of the following statement about Macken's diverticulum is correct except one. The exception is that it is a remnant of yolk sac. This is not an exception. It may extend into the umbilical cord. It, its apex may be free or may be connected to the umbilical cord. That is also not an exception. Lies on the anti-mesenteric border. That is also not an exception. That is correct occurs in two percent of population yes we have rule of two in case of Meckel's diverticulum two type of epithelium around two percent population around two feet from the ileocecal junction is a di is a diverticulum of the descending colon no it is a diverticulum of the ilia it is also called ileal diverticulum so this is the wrong statement it is the exception and this is the answer correct answer identify the indicated structure in red arrow what is this structure okay so round ligament of the uterus that is not shown here it is present anteriorly this is the posterior aspect of the uterus and ovary and the fallopian tube or uterine tube Proper ovarian ligament, this is the proper ovarian ligament. Suspensory ligament of the ovary, this is here. Okay. And the uterine tube, this is the uterine tube, this is the infundibulum, this is the ampulla, this is the isthmus. Okay. So, and what is this? Ureter, this is the ureter. Okay. And that's all about the multiple choice questions in abdominal anatomy from question number 1 to 10. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. And please support my channel. Please subscribe me. I will put all the answers as well as the reference book list in the description of this video. If you have any chance, please go through those. So thank you very much. Bye now.